Hello, Tommy Keen fans. It's me, Travis Myers, and my beautiful sister, Natasha Myers Masaguera. And uh, again, we are the authors of Sister Margaret, book one in the Tommy Keen Detective series. And another Q and A for you, our fans. Do I got to say more? Go ahead. I don't think so. We're ready. I think we're yeah, ready. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. I don't know. Is there Let's more? Go. Oh, we got to thank everybody. Thanks oh. for being fans. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate that you're reading the book, that you're buying the book, and that you've taken the time to actually send questions to us or actually to Bully Press, our uh, publishing, uh, publishing company. company. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. To ask these questions. Thank you so much for taking part. It's very, very exciting to us. Yes, yes, it is. I have to say, we are blown away by how the great reviews, how many people. I've really loved those reviews. Loved Sister Margaret and uh, love in love with Tommy Keen and so yeah, we're thrilled. We didn't expect, yes. we didn't know what to expect, but we definitely didn't expect um, how great yes. it's been. So thank you. We're totally new to this, and you guys mm -hmm. are, are our fans are just brilliant. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for this one? Ask a question. Okay, let's go. Number one. Okay. Okay. So question number one is from Brianna. Um, AKA Brianna's Best Books from Port Monmouth, New Jersey. And she asks, how did your experience growing up in New York City affect the writings of Sister Margaret and the character of Tommy Keene? Why don't you take that one? Okay. Well, I mean, growing up in New York City was, um, obviously, it's a book about New York City. And it had to influence us, you know, completely and wholeheartedly because everything we write about is New York City. It's all places that we know, places that we grew up in our neighborhood of, of Yorkville and other parts of the city. Um, and the characters, of course, are all true New Yorkers. Um, and uh, I kind of like the thing, I think you agree with me, that the book is more a, the, the novels, the series itself is more about New York City and the crimes and characters and everything like that are the characters of the city, exactly. of the book. Does that make sense to you? Did I oh, say yeah. that properly? Yeah, I like that. I like okay. that. It's like you take everything, you put it in a blender, all the people we know, the experiences you have had, um, we've all known, and we come out with this story. Um, but like you said, I, I think that's exactly right. It's a story about New York City, um, especially yes. Yorkville. Um, and I think everything related to that and all of the people in it are just the characters, but so are the restaurants, so are the bars. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So. It's a tapestry. It is a very nice How's room. that? It's a tapestry. <laughs> or a mosaic. A beautiful mosaic. That's what New York City is. Yes. How's that? That's what I like. Okay, very okay. good. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Brianna. So, Next. Number two. It's along the same lines. Um, this one actually comes from a neighborhood girl. Um, this one is from Kelly. I'm Kelly. A.K.A. Kelly Kills Books, um, who lives in Yorkville, um, in New York City, and loves Sister Margaret so much, she actually created an official Tommy Keen fan page. So. Yes, thank you so much Thanks, for that, Kelly. Kelly you rock. So, Kelly rocks. Everybody out there, um, she posts photos of the neighborhood. She posts real people mm -hmm. with our book um, at the neighborhood areas. Um, We've so got to send her please... some old pictures, too. Oh, that would be fun. We're going to send you some old pictures, Kelly. Yeah, we're going to find them, dig some stuff up that you might like, and we'll send them to you. That, that would be actually very I cool. I think that's so very cool, yeah. All of you out there, really, you should go and check out her page. It's the official Tommy Keen fan page, as well as Kelly Kills Books. Um, Kelly Kills yeah, Books. Yeah, Kelly Kills Books on Instagram. So, yeah, check her out. awesome. Um, but she wants to know, I know all the pubs, bars, and restaurants you mentioned in Sister Margaret are real, and I so love that. Have you been to every one of them? or do you just use them as a backdrop for the story? So, uh, go ahead, Big Brother. I think this one is geared towards So, you. yes. Um, all of the bars, pubs, restaurants, um, locations, parks, whatever it is that you read about, um, I've been, well, I've been to all of those pubs and bars and restaurants dozens and dozens and dozens of times. We've had, many of them we've had family functions in. We know uh, most of the owners by name. Not everybody, but most of the owners we know by name. Um, we know the regulars, we know, you know, just about everything there is to know about it, and that's why we write about it, because we know about it. Um, yeah, jeez, uh, did I answer that enough? Is that enough? I think so. so I think for it? me, yes. um, I've been pretty much every, like you said, the parks and neighborhoods, um, and I've been to most of the bars. Uh, we did go on a little pub crawl, Travis and yes. I, when we were writing Sister Margaret, and he took me to the ones um, that I had never been to. Um, which probably was because I was not allowed to go to the bars when I was in my younger years. Yeah, so in your younger years, yes. One. I wanted to make sure she had the, the full flavor of the Tommy Keen experience, yeah. so I made sure she visited every place we ever write about. It was fun. So, it was a good night. It was a good night, yeah. yeah. 
Well, you know, we should do that one night when for when everything opens up. We should have fans, and we should go on a pub crawl with our fans. Excellent idea. That'd be a good idea, huh? That'd hold us fun. to that, fans. Hold us to that. <laughs> Remind us. That's something we got to do. <laughs> okay. So, um, thank you, Kelly. Um, the next one is from Dina, the bibliophile extraordinaire from Colorado Springs, and she asked that this is one for both authors. If you could choose a fictional detective as your partner to solve crimes, who would it be? It would pff, Sherlock Holmes. Who else would it be? Well, well, I think I'd go a little more newer. Newer? More, yeah, kind of closer to this time frame. And I'd probably go with either, I'm thinking Amos Decker, because I just read from Baldacci, um, the Memory Man series. Because um, one, he's really big. He's like a football player, right? So he he's no Sherlock. Me. I don't know anything about him, but I know, he's no Sherlock. but he's got a memory. He's got a thing that happened to his brain, and he remembers everything, so he's super cool. Um, so yeah, I think him, or maybe um, Agent Pendergrass. He's pretty cool, too. He figures everything out. I don't know him, either. I know Sherlock Holmes, though. No, he's no Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes is the man. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Next one, um, Dana, a.k.a. Dana Mustard Reads from Victoria, British Columbia, asks, what was the hardest scene you had to write? Ooh, the hardest thing I've ever written, okay? Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're asking, but if you want to talk, if you're talking about, like, emotionally, all right, because not everybody likes to talk there about their emotions now, I would say the prologue to Hayden John Marshall, mm -hmm. which you have not read yet, will absolutely break your heart and it, it's it breaks my heart it breaks my heart every time i had to read it when i wrote it when i rewrote it when i write, read over it it's a heartbreaking uh mm -hmm. bit and it's that that emotionally that would be the hardest one as far as actually technically writing the pro biggest problems i have is keeping my timeline straight keeping things in order um and luckily i have this one here who fixes all of my mistakes where you know i make mistakes with the times with the dates with uh, different things and, and they'll need to be rearranged or, or even from a writing perspective they should be rearranged because although I know in my head what I want to say and I get the story out there I know what I'm talking about and you the reader don't so Natasha yeah. fixes it and, and makes it much more so it unfolds properly is that what I, I yeah, yeah so it unfolds yeah. properly and that's what she does yeah so I think yeah in, in terms of difficultiness over all of the books um, on the technical side, it is knitting, knitting it together um, to make it make sense to those that don't know what's going on um, in your head. Right. Um, I think emotionally in Sister Margaret, I think the sisters at the end well, really, the sisters. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think well, that's like a double-edged thing because they're heartbreaking and yet they're heroic at the same time. Yeah, uh, no, is heroic know, the right word? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's a sad. It's, it's a sad but story. You know who else kind of makes me sad? Are the junkies. That junkies will break, sense. in real life, junkies will always break yeah, your heart. that breaks my heart for them. Junkies will break your heart. So, but, so hopefully that answered your question. You ready for another one? Yes, please. Okay, let's see. Um, this is another from Dina. Can you give us a hint as to what we can expect from the next book? Tears. Lots of tears. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Tears? How's that? Yeah, yeah, that one. So the next one in our series is Hayden John Marshall. Yeah. Um, and it's going to make you cry, I think. Or should. <laughs> um, it's going to wow cry. you. I think it'll wow you. Um, I think what, when I first got the my first run-on sentence, um, 200 pages of it, I really uh -huh. did not expect just teasing, um, where it went to where it went and how um, more emotionally um, it really was. Um, we got some great new characters, some new side characters that I think you're all going to love. Um, we like them, and so you'll be seeing them. And then, of course, we've got all of our already um, Sister Margaret fans and Hayden John. Yeah, that's one thing, characters. again, from a, a writing perspective, is that when Natasha gets it, it's actually a new book for her, too. Because although we collaborate wholly, we've decided that it's better off if I write the whole thing and mm -hmm. give it to you. That way she can feel it as a reader does, even though, again, what I send her is a mess. She can feel it as a reader, and it, again, unfolds for her. So there's, she gets to feel the surprises. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. like that I read it one time just as a reader, um, just to get the, the flow of it. I want to see, does it, does it sometimes make me even question where this is going? And then it ends up surprising me and like, oh my gosh, I remember yeah. the first time. <laughs> <laughs> There was one time in Sister Margaret, I like immediately dropped it and was like, "Oh my!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> that was fun. 
So yeah, we hope um, with Hayden gone that you're gonna. I hope. I hope we, yeah. we, we all get the same reaction from you guys. Yeah. So exactly. Next question. Okay. I think this is gonna be the last one. Okay. Last question. One last? Okay. Last question. So this one is from Brianna at Brianna's Best Reads. What's next for Tommy Keen? Next for Tommy Keen, more crime fighting adventures. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, next up we have Hayden John Marshall, which is uh, about a, a missing little boy, and it deals with the dark web and just a lot of dark subject matter in general. Um, after that comes what Jenny Black. Mm -hmm. Jenny Black is a, a DOA dead on arrival. Uh, Jane Doe, they don't know who she is, and a lot of it is just finding out who this person is, and once they do, of course, what happened to her. Um, and then the first one that we think is going to be out in sometime in 2021, we don't know, so don't ask, uh, but we'll, we'll be sure to let you know when we know, is going to be June Lee, and that's going to be uh, deal a lot with human trafficking and, um, you know, other very dark I'm sorry for all the dark stuff, but you have to remember it is crime. That's what you're asking for. You're crime fans. You're getting crime, <laughs> and there's nothing fun and light about crime. Right. Right? Because crime never takes a break. It never does. Crime never, crime never stops, and neither will we. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. Cool? I think that's it. Are we all done? I think so. That's it for okay. this edition. Well, goodbye. Thank Bye. you very much. Thank you. Buy a copy if you haven't already. See you soon. <laughs>